most people who have played World of Warcraft for a substantial amount of time have got a GM story. And when I say a GM story, I mean getting stuck inside an instance or a gate not opening inside an instance and then a GM appearing as if from nowhere to open the gate or teleport your group past the gate to the boss, perhaps. Or being bugged out inside an instance and not being able to get out and the GM comes in and teleports you out. Whatever way round. There's even videos right here on YouTube of people being punished by GMs in front of everybody. So if someone perhaps tried scamming someone and taking their gold, a GM has personally stood in front of the scammer, emptied the gold out of their bags and killed them on the spot, but punished them in a way that people will talk about it on the server. So I want to talk today about three big key things that GMs actually add to servers and why we need them. You might be sat there now thinking, we don't need GMs. Why would we need GMs? We're perfectly fine. We've got people on the end of a ticket who just normally say, sorry, we can't help you. I'm talking about an active member of each server, so of the community, a GM that everybody knows. Everybody knows the name of the GM that's one, two, three, however many GMs on a server, but you know, one main one that does wacky stuff, helps people out, actually stops botting, becomes engaged with the community and part of even the server Discord, for example. And there could even be an area on the server Discord where people complain about other things and you know people they've caught botting, exploiting, stuff like that. So it actually gives the GM somewhere to look. You know, I'm not saying he'll just look through a list and go, ban, 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 ban. Obviously not. But you know, if there's screenshots of someone potentially botting, it, the GM would then just keep an eye on them because it's this easy. Thank you to all the guys in the banner that's been scrolling along for the last 30 seconds or so. All the people that have joined the channel as a member, it really does help to support the channel. More on how you can support the channel at the end of the video. So as a GM, if we suspected one of these perfectly normally named players of botting, for a GM to actually have a little look at what these people are doing, you know, to really gauge for themselves whether they are legitimately there dancing or they're botting. This is such a terrible example. This GM could be stood in amongst this entire group of suspected botters and none of these people would even know he stood there watching until the GM actually wants to be known. Now they can all see that there's actually a GM there watching them, which will, it will create some excitement as well. So I said three things. So normally in a video like this on YouTube, people all leave the big one till last or, you know, they'll drag out each point. I'm not going to. I'm going to tell you all three reasons we need a GM right now. Player engagement, player confidence, and fun. Those three things. Now let's look at the sort of things that GMs can do to keep players engaged, to give buyers or players confidence in sort of the development team, the GM team, and how they can actually make things quite fun and unique, which will make people want to be online because they don't want to miss when these things happen. Ultimately, all three of these things can come just by having a GM who's visible on a server a couple of hours a week. It's not even got to be something where it's a full-time job and they're sat there eight hours a day. Yes, they'll need to answer some tickets and stuff like that if the support staff are not doing that or if their skill set as a GM is more suitable for a specific ticket that's been sort of put in and yes, looking a bit on Discord and stuff like that. But ultimately, a GM could be an unpaid position. Someone who just enjoys doing it just for a bit of fun, a couple of hours a week, keeping everyone on the server engaged, confident that Blizzard care and ultimately making the server a more enjoyable place to play. So first of all, from an engagement perspective, just to know that there is a GM present and botters are being banned and stuff like that. So let's say as a GM, you're stood outside chilling in slave pens after getting loads and loads of reports of sneaky rogues just stealthing outside and inside the instance and no one really knows what they're doing. You've got a GM on the server that you know is watching these same people stealthing in and out of slave pens over and over again. So what does the GM go and do? The GM can literally just teleport in and watch what he's doing, which admittedly, that is me on another account, so I'm not doing a lot. And once the GM's 100% sure that he's been botting, it's quite easy just to ban. Boom, he's gone. Offline, banned for three days. You could even now announce this to the server. Why not? Name and shame. Again, just to give a little bit of confidence to people, the actions are being taken. I mean, imagine turning up to Gurubashi Arena trying to get your trinket on your twink ult and Ragnaros for no reason whatsoever sat there. With a GM just literally trolling, just watching all of you just fight to the death whilst trying not to get one shot by Ragnaros. It's stupid things like this that I just think do really create engagement and just make the experience really unique. And you see things happen like this on private servers. You know, this is not me reinventing the wheel. You know, this happens. They do like hide and seek challenges or find the boss or implement jumping puzzles and stuff like that. And it's the first one to get to the top wins. You know, they might just get some f a free stack of food or something ridiculous. You know what I mean? But 
it's not really about the reward. It's about the fun in taking part. And I'm sure if you was to really sit and think about what powers a GM actually has, which basically you can spawn any mob. You can set faction IDs on mobs so I could spawn two raid bosses and let them fight it out and see which one wins. You know, have you ever wondered who could win Patchwork or KT and then watch them both fight? It's things like that that are actually really cool. So now just for a minute, pretend you're chilling in your favourite spot in Strangleform Vale, just laid on a mountain looking at the sea. Okay, no one does that, but let's pretend you're chilling somewhere in the world anyway. It might as well be here. And then you see a message from the server. There's a boss on the loose. Chromagus has escaped Blackwing Lair. Find him and provide evidence on Discord. What? So now you'll literally be scouring the entire world anywhere you can think of, just trying to find exactly where this boss could be, just to get that screenshot and put it on the server's Discord. Little did you know, there was a pesky GM who's ran in to the Deep Run Tram, obviously cheating with speed, he's not going to run there normally, and spawned Chromagus there. When almost all hope has gone... You get on the tram to go back home. Forget about that search for Chromagus. It's not going to happen. It doesn't exist. The GM's being a troll. There is no Chromagus. All right, found him. And the GM just watches and laughs. So getting some player engagement, getting lots of people together to have fun, even just go into zones that you wouldn't ordinarily go to. You know, like I said, with the GM announcing that Magma Dar's hiding somewhere or Gloof's hiding somewhere. And you're all just scouring the map, talking, trying to work out where this boss is just to get a screenshot for no apparent reason whatsoever. I'm not saying loads of people would get involved, but I bet people who actually want to have fun on the game would get involved. All they're bothered about is raiding, not really bothered about fun, don't get me wrong. They'll all still be stood in Shatraf or Dalaran or somewhere like that, but you would get a lot of social guilds, get a lot of fun and a lot of, a lot of enjoyable experiences out of this. And ultimately, it'd probably lead to some really interesting YouTube content from all the different servers, seeing what all the different GMs are doing. So I think ultimately, to round the video off, we think of GMs and the fact that a GM should be in-game to police it, to police the server, to stop bots, stop cheaters, which they absolutely should. But there's far more to it than that. If we have proper GMs in the game, they really could add to an engaging experience for everyone who plays World of Warcraft. Because I think if Blizzard understood how much just having a GM present on a server actually adds and how much confidence it builds with the community. They'd have GMs on every single server tomorrow. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. And let me know in the comments what you think, what you think a GM could add to the servers. And I'll see you on the next one. Roll that outro. There's lots of ways you can support the channel to keep me here putting out World of Warcraft content and covering all future MMOs. Consider joining the channel as a member. You get access to emotes. Everyone will know you remember when you comment on future videos because you get a nice icon next to your name. And you get access to members only videos, which I'll be putting a lot of on the channel throughout the year. Additionally, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you on the next one.